Hi everybody, Tom here. We're going to do another tutorial video on installing the VA2510 all-purpose heavy-duty FPV camera. Um, this video is going to be on installing it on a boat. I like to put them on catamarans like the blackjack because uh, when you yaw, when you turn, they don't pitch or uh, you know roll into it. They, they usually stay flat, um, so they're really good for FPV. Uh, first thing that we do is we want to make a hole in our hatch. Um, so if you're comfortable putting a hole in your fiberglass hatch, you know it's it's up to you, but uh, you got to do it. Um, I usually take a reamer, just like this one, and I'll clean it out. So this one I've already done it on. I'll kind of I'll very gently go in from both sides and clean it out. And then when I'm done, when I decide I'm not going to run FPV. I got these little plugs. You can get these plugs. They're the same rubber plugs that come on like a Spectrum radio. They're on the back, but you can just buy them. They're a few bucks. Uh, it's a little, little rubber plug like that. You know, if you can get the size right, it'll just pop right in there. So a good way to keep it from, you know, leaking while you're running it without the camera on it. This guy, we're going to take an extension and usually for boats I like to use a longer extension this one's a 12 inch and we'll plug it into an open channel now on this boat I'm going to show you guys how to uh, change the channel with our radio so plug it in make sure Larry's right we're going to use aux 2 and then we're going to stick our camera to the top and we're going to use our heavy duty mounting tape double sided tape this is the Scotch brand. Uh, it's a 4011. Really good stuff. It uh, it won't let go unless you really, really pull on it. So I'll just put it on there. We'll offset to it, no big deal. Take an X-Acto or a sharp hobby knife. And just score the tape like that. Pull it off like that. We'll grab our 2510 camera and mount it. Just try to line it up. Good. I'll go in through the hole. All right, let's uh, set up the radio. So we got her all bound up to my DX6R, um, and what we're going to do to control the camera's channel through our radio is we plug it into the AUX2 port on the receiver. Um, so the camera going from the extension that we have is going to AUX2, and on our radio. We want to, on the 6R in particular, it, you set it up so you say, okay, you tell the 6R that you're going to be using AUX2 for a channel. We go to that, and we're going to set it. I like setting it for a trimmer. You can put it on a knob, you can put it on a button, um, but the trimmer allows you to do set it for a trimmer, and then linear. You want it to be linear. You, you could do two positions so that you'll have one position and then another for different channels, but we're going to choose trimmer just to uh, demonstrate, to illustrate how it works. So right now we're on channel one and our monitor is saying okay we're at negative 98 percent. You see that? So negative 98 percent is going to be channel one and as we start moving our trimmer, you can tell I'm pretty out of focus, but we'll start moving our trimmer up. The channel changed on our monitor. So I'm going to hit my channel button. Now we're on channel two. Move it some more. Channel changed. Channel three, and so on. So, once we've got the channel that we want, um, you know, you can have a. If you're racing with a friend or playing with a friend, you just make sure you're both on different channels. And you'll be good to go. Um, after it's all set up, all stuck down, you just twist the knob or twist the lens to change the focus on the camera. Um, so that, that's about it. We stuck it to there, plugged it into a channel for power, and we were using AUX2 for signal on it, and it's good to go. Thanks for watching.